Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple's X here, and today I will be showing you guys the new features in iOS 4.3 Beta 1, specifically for the iPad. So this video is geared for the iPad, so most of these features are in the iPhone version, except for the mobile hotspot, which is only in the iPhone version. Unfortunately, I'm still running 4.1 on my iPhone to keep you guys updated with jailbreak stuff and other things like that. But either way, let's go ahead and get started with new features and changes in iOS 4.3 beta 1. All right, first feature we have here, first change I guess, is the ability to change the behavior of the side switch. We can now change it between the lock rotation as it was on 3.2 and the mute switch as it was on 4.2.1. A lot of people are not happy about this change, so it's nice to have an option. You can now just go ahead and flip the switch back and forth or go ahead and use mute and flip the switch back and forth. Now if you have it on lock rotation, the mute switch is still conveniently available um, on the left part of your multitasking bar right there. So overall it's still really easy to use and I believe this is a better setup for most people. Another new feature we have here is multitasking gestures. These gestures um, do require you to, uh, they are not enabled by default, so if you want to learn how to enable these you must have a Mac and a um, Xcode running on your Mac. So if you have that then message me and I will help you. Just do not want to go ahead and show it in the video. Don't want to spend too much time on it. Either way, there are now four and five finger gestures, so you can go ahead and use your fingers to go ahead and pinch and close the app when you're in any application. You can go ahead and go back, go up, swipe up to go to the task switcher, swipe back down, swipe up, go into another application, and easily uh, swipe between applications just by swiping across them, which is, is, which is truly bringing multitasking to the iPad in my opinion, because double clicking, selecting the app, waiting for it to transition, is um, a lot slower than simply switching between two applications like so. Um, it's a really nice feature to see. Um, hopefully they will add more gestures as it is only beta 1, but so far it's looking really good and the gestures have worked pretty well so far. And I've actually gotten used to them and have to admit they're pretty nice. So those are some awesome gestures included, included in iOS 4.3 beta 1 for the iPad. However, don't expect these to be included on the iPhone due to its smaller screen real estate. All right, one other small tweak that we have to this uh, iOS 4.3 release. Um, I'm not sure if this is a glitch or um, an actual change by Apple, but the screenshot noise has changed. I'll go ahead and uh, turn up my volume and let you guys listen to it. Go ahead and do it again. As you can see, it's really the same noise, but with just a bunch of scratch added. So I'm not sure if that's just a glitch in some framework or something um, to do with coding and stuff like that, or it could be an actual change by Apple. In my opinion, I really don't like it, and I just think it sounds stupid and really annoying. So that's something to note that's new on iOS 4.3. All right, next here we have a note font. Um, a lot of you guys won't be interested in this, but just in case of, um, just in case you are, there is a new font called Noteworthy, um, along with the fonts that were already there, Helvetica and Marker Phillip. So uh, nothing interesting, um, all too interesting there. But there is a new Note font. Another change we have here: our location serve the location services panel is now located in the main menu of settings. You no longer have to go to General and then Location Services. It's conveniently placed right there. Um, so that could hint at new location services coming in iOS 5 or iOS 4.3, but um, it is now conveniently placed right there. All right, one other feature that I cannot show you but is important to mention in iOS 4.3 beta 1 is AirPlay. Third-party apps can now use AirPlay. Now, AirPlay is already in 4.2.1 and works with standard apps like videos and stuff like that without jailbreak. I mean, um, yeah, without jailbreak, but it required you to jailbreak to use it with third-party apps. So native support for third-party apps will come in iOS 4.3, allowing um, applications like Netflix and, um, I guess, Hulu to go ahead and allow people to stream it to their TV. So that'll be interesting to see who does that and how people use it. Along with this release, including new features and uh, changes to the software itself, in the software were, um, I guess, documents and text files and image files that, um, I guess, hint at some new features and stuff like that. 
one of the files hinted to that photo booth is coming to iOS. Um, there have been a lot of, I guess there have been multiple people who I found this. Um, I did not find these myself, but there have been files relating to photo booth and camera effects and video effects and stuff like that, which believe it or not, video effects are already on the iPod Nano 5G, so it would not be surprising to see it come to the iPad 2, which will include cameras in the iPhone 5. Also, they found an image of the iPad 2 camera app. Um, they found it somewhere in the OS, but it looks exactly like the um, iPhone uh, iOS camera app, except, of course, it's stretched out to fit the screen and matches the pixel resolution. So that is just another verification of the camera in the iPad 2. Another small feature, as noted by 9 to 5 mac is the Find My Friends feature. They just noticed, a, I believe, something in a string um, that says find my friends so this could be Apple integrating social into the iOS so I'm not really sure how to explain it because I'm not sure um, what's going on and they're not too sure about it either um, but either way it will be interesting to see what they do um, last but not least in iOS there are some uh, files that lead to the conclusion that there will be more powerful processors which, as you expect, come with every iOS new iOS device because it has to be faster, better, and things like that. So they're referencing that it could have a dual-core chip, an A5 chip. Um, something really powerful will be put in here, so it'll be interesting to see um, how fast it is and things like that. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at AppOSX. And also, add me on Game Center at AppOSX right there. I have now 223 friends, so go ahead and add me on Game Center before I reach that limit. Um, that's it. Once again, thanks for watching. One more thing here. Go ahead and please subscribe to Baran Flake Apps. Um, he does app videos on like how to make apps, um, developer things like that. So if you're interested or maybe interested in creating apps or learning how to create apps, then go ahead and subscribe to his channel. He helps me out with uh, the iOS betas and things like that. So go ahead and be sure to subscribe to him for stuff like that. Once again, thanks for watching.